Um, so Claude is one of the people who connects people together and uh, creating um, really successful networks. Uh, if you are thinking to develop yourself in a platform such as Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, for example, I think Claude is the right person because he knows how to put people together and make it work. change your life you know do you ever see those things yeah, yeah, things yeah. do you ever click on it do you ever enter the stuff and click out i mean i think i used to until i know it just it's just all clickbait and then you don't right <laughs> clickbait yeah it's clickbait okay all right you know clickbait yeah tripwire um and all that yeah right so you know what's coming next i'm like that so i'm always clicking on yeah stuff. oh you got to give them something like that okay so then because i'd already got all these, yeah. these things I knew the words, it was like I can show you the secrets to strong yeah. contact networking so that you can finally make some money from all working your networking home. activities because yeah, yeah. people were going all over the place and like how was it last night? Oh yeah, bloody kissing frogs going that one, yeah. yeah. I met about 10 people, yeah, no work come off it though, no work come yeah. out of it though, you know. And every time you always had that Me I, I did a pre-release so I did offer them um, something for free to start off with but this is this guy Stuart Buchanan he's hardly, arguably one of the best networkers around more than willing to share his knowledge and expertise I'm looking forward to Claude's eagerly awaited ebook kissing drops the whole truth and so should you so I gave him the first five secrets or the first ten secrets or whatever and then and then I released the, the whole book here's another one this guy actually bought the book Simon Carlin um, I'm now on his mailing list and strongly recommend you purchase his excellent Kissing Frogs ebook, Money Truly Well Spent. Now think about this, guys. You've still got those human beings, as I told you, like in the picture. The best that you can hope for is serving human beings, helping them to fix their pain, and then getting them to leave you a really good comment for everybody else that comes after them because it shows that you are the real McCoy. That's about building trust and rapport on a forum. It doesn't matter which forum you do it on. The principle is exactly the same. Now, if you're that kind of a human being, you will do really, really well. It's not about the latest trick. It's about doing the basics, doing it well, and then multiplying it. Kate, you said about Amazon. Why do you trust Amazon? Well, I guess I've used them many times and they're always inefficient. Okay, one. Do you read the reviews? No. You don't read the reviews. Okay, that's interesting. But how did you first start? When you, when you bought your first book, how, why did you trust them when you bought your first well, book? Well, they're very big Lots of people were using them. Yeah, it's a more bad marketing because it's indirectly advertised TV and network, you know. Amazon is in the mouth or is in the top of everybody that uses uh, like that buy online. The first thing you think buy online is Amazon or Alibaba. Alibaba is new, but before it was Amazon and then it was, so was the first eBay. 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 So it's a brand. It's a brand, and there's trust. Yeah. So what do you think I was doing? I was doing what Amazon was doing on a very small scale. So I was actually building trust on a forum. And because there were, what's the population of Seychelles? 100,000 people or somewhere near 90. 90. Academy, I think in those days, had about 150,000 people. It's a bloody website. I'm on a Facebook group with 150,000 people in a group. So that's how you've got your big market. And I'm, I'm building a brand and I'm building trust. And people are saying good things about me. These are some of the testimonials that I've got in the past from Academy. If you have a look on the date, that's 2008. That's like three years ago. Okay. Um, I found the teleseminar with Claude Bonte very useful, full of practical ideas about how to get started in the development of an internet business. The combination of focus and creative advice, along with the personal accountability, works for me. Okay, so there you are. Again, Sean McCluskey, probably the best I've met. He's got a deep understanding of marketing and sales techniques that can really help your business. 
that was yeah 2008 so I've been in this game for a long time um, uh, I, Irene Cooper here um, you know she just really talked about how I helped her to increase her networking and sales skills I was gracious with my time and coached her whenever she needed help now those are the testimonials guys that you want to strive for because if you can get testimonials like that even people that has never met you before one thing they can say is okay this guy works hard for a bunch of people and uh, you know people will at some stage when you when you offer them some products they know that you're not just kind of offering them products to earn affiliate commissions that you've really got their best interests at heart so in that book in that kissing frogs and one thing, you know, if you guys come on the program and things, I'll, I'll give you the book and you can read it for yourself. But, um, so in that, in that PDF document was gold if you know how to use it, yeah? And that's why I asked all of you people what your expertise was, how much you know about, about it. Do, do you see? So you've all got something, you would be like, like me, yeah? What I will tell you today, it's a lot easier for you today than it was for me back then. Because 10 years ago, video wasn't where it is today. Bandwidth wasn't where it was today. So, you wrote a PDF, but you didn't really have a feel for me. You read my stuff. Today, I mean, I'm going to take you, Ronnie. If I was to, I've got a video camera on here. If I was to put my video on here and I was to say, Ronnie, tell me about Spice. How long do you think you could speak for on Spice? As much as I can... By six with the old... As much memory as this has on the phone! I promise you... I don't, I, I, I don't have the monopoly or the knowledge of spices, but I certainly know quite a lot. That's the same sense, for sure. Okay. Okay, what does it take to be a published author? Everyone wants to write a book. Tenacity, discipline, imagination, creativity, and hope. <laughs> okay. Can anybody, could you coach anybody to write a book? No. You can't, right. Why not? Well, can I, can I coach anybody to be a wonderful networker, to be able to talk like you can talk? I can probably talk and some of us can talk, you know, you go up and naturally can have a conversation and draw things out of people. Of course, that was my job. I interviewed famous people for 30 years. Wow. And did big profiles on them. But you can't make somebody teach somebody how to write who doesn't have the gift of writing. These days, these days, what's happened is that uh, photographers and, and journalists and authors have a much harder time because a lot of people who thought they couldn't write at all have discovered they can write because they write every day on the internet, they write emails to people and they, they discovered it's easier than they thought. But it still doesn't make them a great writer. I mean, there are great writers and there are entertaining writers and, there's, and so forth and so on. You can, you can, and I have it on, this, on the television, um, there's a great friend of mine and she wanted to write. And in fact, I was taken to lunch by the editor of the Daily Express and asked if I would write a book on Princess Diana. Wow. Real Diana. I'd already written a series of five parts. And uh, I said I didn't want to do it. Right. Because you can't do it without making half of this up. She's now absolutely famous, she's just done the book on <laughs> Harry and Meghan. But she couldn't write, she brought her first ever to me and I said, this is dreadful. Good morning guys, how are you all? Um, my name is uh, Rashid Musmi, um, small entrepreneur starting going up in the business world. Actually, I came to one of the class of uh, Mr. Claude Monte, um, which was a, a week ago, it was on a Saturday. So I came for the introduction class because uh, I'm actually, I was at the point that my business was not doing so well and I didn't know anything about online marketing. So. Prior to that, I was in touch with Mr. Botte because he was trying to invite me, pitching me in for his program. So I said, okay, might as well come and increase the knowledge in something else. So actually when I came, um, the introduction class was very good. It was giving few techniques and it was talking about 
how to market yourself online basically everyone they think like marketing online you just put a photo or videos on facebook and that's it but then he said something to the effect that the psychology behind it that's the key and the human interaction online also is the key so i picked that up i note it down and actually during the week i was in the process of helping a friend with his business also because his business was like down he was pulling a sales of 75 rupees per day and sometime like for one month only 2500 rupees sale which was barely enough not even enough to cover the rent or anything even the salary of the workers there so actually what i noted down i went in i started doing what i've learned from the session with Mr. Bonte and for the next couple of days I've seen that the sales in the business was picking up from 2,500 rupees a month going to 1,070 rupees on my seven days in the shop and the next day it even went up to 3,075 rupees then on the third day it went to 8,000 rupees and every people who come to the shop, they say, hey, we saw your things on Facebook and your interaction with us was good and the way you put your product, the way you advertise the shop. And actually, it was a pull for them to come to the shop. So um, uh, the stuff that I learned from Mr. Bonte, if you know how to apply it and if you know how to interact and the psychology behind marketing online on facebook and the platform whatever platform virtual platform if you know how to apply it it really works it does work but the thing is you must be a good listener and mr bonte has the charisma to teach you the stuff so when you come to the class of mr bonte you don't challenge the teacher you listen to the teacher because you know his stuff and when you learn the stuff you note it down Try to apply it and always go back to Mr. Bonte to get some advice. And his advice is on point. And he's know his stuff. So I would advise those who are watching this video to actually come and give some time. Even in our busy time, like today for myself, I was busy. I said, yeah, well, I will give the testimony because it has actually worked. It's not a joke. You can see the difference in your term of your sale, in terms of the client that coming in. And people who are starting to have interaction with you online you never expect them to have this kind of interaction at all so if you know that stuff you can apply it and it will work so mr bot is the guy for you to learn this stuff from him here in session and i will advise the people to come to the class of mr bot and learn this thing because we have to stop doing business the with the session one mindset we need to break down this mindset it's all about the mindset change the session one mindset of doing business and do something new at least for start then we can see a difference we can't stop we can we cannot go on doing the same thing over and over again expecting a different result it won't work let's do something different and for me for the past like last month i didn't know mr bonte only a couple of interaction I, honestly i'm saying this from my heart i can see the change so what if I carry on with this guy for another six months down the line? I might be good on marketing online. So thank you guys. This is just coming from my heart and I hope you give a response to the call. Thank you.